So to calibrate the IMU, it's important to calibrate the IMU after you do a firmware update. Now we go into the main menu, scroll down to the bottom, you will see advanced settings and then you will see sensor state. In here we've got a full diagnostic of all the sensors. Remember, double redundancy, twin IMUs, and you'll see the status here, but we want to go on to IMU calibration. Now, this is where it's going to be a bit different. I'm going to back it up here so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, but the difference is, is that um, you calibrate all axes, not just on the flat. The IMU is the internal measurement unit, and this tells the craft what is level. Um, where before you only calibrated the one axis so you left the craft flat on the table to calibrate it but this time we're going to do flat on its side on its nose on its tail however you will see the little graphic so we're just going to click on start that is it now calibrating so important you have on a flat surface you do not touch it and then you see first one onto its side let that calibrate and then onto the other side. Remember, you only have to do this after you do a firmware update or if you experience any unusual flying characteristics. Or it's also worth if you have a bit of a bump or a crash, I new calibration. And on its back side. Because as I say, you're tilting the gimbal kind of beyond what it's recommended to go. So it's not a good idea to do it all the time. Certainly wouldn't be doing it after every flight, that's for sure. So as you see, we've pretty much done all accesses and this means the internal measurement unit is calibrated absolutely perfectly flat. Yay, I am you calibration, boom. So just tip that back over. As you see there, it'll come up and it'll say moving at first. That means it can't tell you what the IMUs are doing because they're moving, but as you'll now notice, remember those back ones there? They were right in the, in the uh, yellow, be honest, it would have been fine, but now right in the green, perfect.